brought to you by... Welcome back to another ETF short film review that plants us on uneasy footing, somewhere between the real and the unreal, as we follow the story of a man named Andrew, who is found by his friend Adam living within the throes of a waking nightmare, stalked by the presence of the stranger. Once again, gorgeously captured in the throes of high contrast black and white, and accompanied once more by the talents of Chris Salvi and Justin Tabalt, we enter the world of writer director Jeremy Joseph Aruda's more traditionally creepy sophomore tale. Unlike his last film, Strawberry Lane, this one takes him away from the arena of Shock Underground and toward a more supernatural horror wheelhouse. Here he delivers a tone that I would equate to what you might find among the pages of the creepypasta or no sleep forums of Reddit, creating a chilling, nightmarish entity that lurks just outside of Andrew's safe place. Throughout the duration of this short, which was shot over the course of only 8 hours on the coldest day in November, we are confined within the walls of Andrew's house, his last bastion from the thing that has been lurking beyond its walls. The terror of what waits for him has consumed him to his core, and Adam has come here to help push him back out into the world. This was a brilliant choice in my opinion. It locks us into this uncomfortable intervention type conversation between a man whose mind is plagued by something horrific and a skeptical friend who only wishes to prove to him that there is nothing to fear. This is always a cool dynamic and allows for us to lean toward one side or the other, in a way choosing our path or at least presenting the illusion of that choice. In both films, Jeremy showcases a clear influence from the works of such heavyweights as David Lynch, John Waters, and George Romero. He seems to excel at creating a tone of unease within his work, and relish in steeping his audience within a murky atmosphere that calls to mind the feeling of being left adrift in the weightless tide, lost and without control. He places us at his mercy, stringing us along for a deeply tense narrative experience that pays off beautifully in its final moments. He structures his story tightly, giving us only what we need, no more, no less, while still remaining unafraid to linger in moments of discomfort for far longer than most other filmmakers would dare to. Every frame presents a feeling of deliberate intent, whether or not this was the case. Jeremy is a filmmaker and artist with a unique and edgy visual style that is shaping up to be a true breath of fresh air into the lungs of indie filmmaking. When you watch as many short films as I do on a regular basis, you begin to notice that many out there are playing it safe, telling nearly identical stories in far too similar styles. While the overall narrative of this one is similar to things that we've all seen before, it's the tone and visual aesthetics that he implements that make it stand apart from most others. I personally enjoyed this film quite a bit, and I cannot wait to see what he brings to the table for his junior outing. I'm giving The Stranger a B+. Just like Strawberry Lane, I was given the privilege of checking this film out at Cocktails and Screens, a local event held once every month at the Black Box Theater in Providence, Rhode Island. So far, I have seen some amazing films from local talents here, many of which I plan to bring you my thoughts on as often as I can. So if you're in the area and you want to support local artists and independent film, you can find links below for more information on the next Cocktails and Screens event. Unfortunately, The Stranger is not yet available online, but when it drops, I highly recommend you show Jeremy your support and give it a watch.
If you enjoyed today's video, please feel free to let me know. It's just a quick scroll down there to that comment section below. If you're enjoying the channel more than words can describe, shoot me a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. If you'd like to show your support even more, come find ETF on Patreon or Tippy, where every pledge and every tip brings you rewards galore. Not to mention allowing me to bring you more films to explore. But all jokes and rhymes aside, if you have any films that you would like me to check out or that you might like to see reviewed on this channel, feel free to reach out to me here down in the comments or over on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And I will catch you all next time. Thanks for watching.